Well, hello, people of the interwebs. We're back for another cooking video, and this time it is Mahi Mahi with mixed vegetables, and it's just what's for dinner. So I have some mixed vegetables here. Two cups is perfect for our family. I have some crumb bacon crumbles that we get from Costco. 100% real bacon, naturally smoked real bacon. Mm -hmm. And then I have my two pans heating up, one for vegetables, one for the mahi-mahi. I have mahi-mahi right here. And to season it, I am using the Weber New Orleans Cajun. New Orleans Cajun, I guess, is how it's done. Um, and it's just a quick way to give it, it has a little bit of spice to it. So don't overdo it, okay? Don't overdo it on this. Um, salt, pepper, and garlic for vegetables. Um, a little bit of salt on the fish because it just needs a tad bit. Don't over salt your fish. Horribly wrong, horribly bad. I have some butter. I will use pats of butter on each of these things. I have some parsley and smoked paprika. Give the fish a little color. I also have one lemon. And so we will do that. Now I'm gonna start with the vegetables. They take the longest. Um, I have these, both of these have been warming up for a little while. I'm so many of them going. Then I'm also gonna turn my broiler on high and I wanna get that nice and hot because once I'm done cooking the fish, I'm gonna throw it into the oven with the broiler on and I'm gonna kinda of like brown up the top a little bit cause I'm gonna finish it off with some Parmesan cheese um, and get it nice and bubbly and good. So first off, let's start with our vegetables. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil inside. I don't put the butter in till last along with the bacon. I don't wanna overcook the bacon. And I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. I always heat it up like around three, it gets it nice and hot. And then I can turn it up as I need. I don't wanna just leave them going on high for too long. Um, so a little bit of olive oil down in the bottom. Put my frozen vegetables in. Oh, and I forgot. Glass of wine. For the chef. Mm. So this is the unshackled wine. It's from uh, The Prisoner. And uh, I don't know. I've just really been enjoying it. It's been a great vintage, so... Uh, a nice blend. It's not as costly as the prisoner is, but it's still very delicious. So um, these are all frozen and cook it to your likeness however you want. I am going to add some salt, some pepper. A bit of garlic powder. All right, let's give these a quick little stir. Mix it all up together. Just enough. Throw a lid on it. Let it cook. It's way around. Now to season the mahi mahi. Mahi mahi, I just like saying that. Um, so we get this mahi mahi at Costco. It is wild caught. We don't like the farm caught stuff. It's higher in mercury um, and not just, it's just better if it's wild caught. It's better for you, better nutrition. Um, so that's what we do. So first thing I did is I took it out, defrosted it, patted it dry. I didn't want um, too much moisture on it. And now I'm gonna just add a bit of the Cajun seasoning. And I'm only gonna season one side at a time. I'll tell you why in a minute. And then I am gonna use a bit of salt only on one side and not a lot because I am gonna finish it off with um, some Parmesan cheese. So just enough to give it some flavor. Then 
put a little bit of smoked paprika on here. Give it some, some color. Got this nifty filet fish flipper here. I'm gonna put some oil in my pan. A little bit. Then, pat my seasonings in. I don't know why I do that. I'm gonna throw them in here. I'm gonna throw them with the seasoned side down to begin with, just kind of lay it in. Nice and gentle. There we go. Get that going. Now a couple things to note. I do have, wash my hands real quick. I use butter once I flip it. I don't use butter on that side. But now that it's over, I'm going to do is I'm going to season this side of it. Just a little bit of the Cajun. Put as much as you like, but just beware. It's a little spicy. So take it easy. I'm not using salt on that side because I've already salted the other side. But I will use the smoked paprika to give it some color. I'm just trying to cook it up a little bit. What I'm going to do then is get my I'm gonna get my lemon ready to I'm gonna put some juice in there and then I'm gonna use some of the slices at the end to garnish it. So I will cut it and squeeze and I'm doing this to keep the seeds out. Now I'm gonna save this because once I flip it and put some on the other side and then what I'm gonna do cut a few slices here so I can have some to garnish. Keep that like that. Watch my heat on this. I don't want it to overcook because I am going to throw it in the broiler. So just pay attention to that. And that's some Parmesan cheese that I'm going to use to finish the top of it. A little bit of lemon juice there. Uh, let's check our vegetables. See how they're doing. Just give it a nice... It's looking good. They're looking... They're cooking nicely. And when you start to see it kind of dry at the bottom a little bit, that moisture is kicking out. Perfect time for the butter. So take a pad of butter. Throw it in. And also it is a good time for some bacon crumbles because they'll give it a little bit of extra fat. And I didn't salt the vegetables too much because I knew I was gonna be adding some bacon in here. So there is butter and just put as much bacon as you like. Normally we do an onion with this. I don't have any onions, um, but I would chop up an onion and I would saute those first. Um, so I'm gonna do this, just mix it around. Let it cook up. Lower the heat on that. Now it's time to flip. So I can see here, it's getting cooked halfway up and through, which is exactly where I want it to be. Now I'm gonna flip it. Get the nice color on the bottom. Nice and seasoned, and then, it's time for some more lemon. And since I've already gotten rid of the seeds, oh, voila, see, they're in my hand now, if you can see that. I'll throw that there. 
it's time for butter on this one. That's too much. A little on either side. So the fish is pretty lean, so the butter gives it nice a little bit of fats for some flavor. And I check it out and I'm like, ah, it needs a little bit more color. So what I'm gonna do just give it a little bit more paprika. I, I like that deep red color in it. So this I'm done with that. Turn the heat up just a hair. It's all gonna start moving fairly quickly. So what I'm gonna do with these is not quite put them on the fish quite yet. I've already used the juice, but I want them to kind of cook in here a little bit. So once I know I'm getting ready to throw it in the broiler, Turn this up a tad. Um, there we go, this is coming out nice. Once I'm getting ready to serve, it'll go right in. Um, yeah, it's a big pan for the vegetables. Sometimes we do a lot of vegetables at a shot, but this I'm doing just in case you need serving for two. This is how it's gonna go. So I'm just gonna cook these up a little bit. I've already put lemon juice on top of the fish. It's good to go. Cajun seasoning and everything is all you really need. And now I'm gonna to top it off with some grated Parmesan cheese. This stuff, I don't know, not endorsed by them, but we eat this so much and love it and it's just delicious. So I don't know if you can see this very well. I'm gonna bring it up here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna keep cooking it. Um, I might just flip these over a hair. These lemon slices, they are good. And I just wanna make sure they're getting cooked on both sides a little bit. And it just gives a good flavor once you cook it up. Also, the lemon I chose was uh, more ripe. I guess I don't want like an unripe lemon. I wanted something that had a little more sweetness and flavor to it. I'm gonna turn the vegetables down. They're looking good. And don't wanna overcook them. Now I'm ready for some Parmesan cheese and we're gonna throw it in the broiler. So this meal is super fast. Doesn't take much to cook. This fish, it cooks fairly quickly. And I'm just topping it off with some Parmesan cheese. Just cover it. All right. And the reason I don't salt it too much is because the Parmesan cheese has a lot of salt in it already. So that being said, time to throw this bad boy in the broiler. So I'm gonna turn that off. It's about cooked like so. Throw in the broiler on high. I'm gonna turn on my oven light. And then I know it's ready when I see all of the cheese starting to bubble up a little bit. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. This looks like it's come along well. And um, one thing I'll do, just quickly give it a quick little taste. See if I need like any other type of seasoning. Mm. That's good. Um, what we'll probably do after serving it is top it off with some Parmesan cheese, but that tastes amazing as is. Turn off the broiler, off the oven light. Ooh, look at that. Golden brown, nice and tasty.
then I like to get some of that stuff in here. Get it on your uh, lemons from over. Get all that flavor on there. Look at that, it looks just delicious. So, nice garnish to it. Turn this off. That's not huh? All right, and that's all that's to it. I'm gonna bring it up close. Dinner is served. Take all that out. Leave that there. Let me bring you up close here. Here it is.